when we're clear around why we do what we do and you start to drill down into the alignment between the senior leadership team and, and what is fundamentally the most important thing to that organisation as a business, as a leadership team or as an individual, when our resolve is tested, it's so much easier for us to make clear decisions if we have that clarity of purpose. Because I come from crisis and disaster doesn't mean that the business needs to be in a crisis for me to have relevance to them. The work I do with businesses is helping them build corporate social responsibility programs that bring returns back to their business. If your CSR program is not a positive return to your business, you are missing opportunities. One thing about Peter is he just has that ability to translate intent into action. You'll find a few others that are as grounded as him. He's a masterful storyteller. His ability to draw us in and create these shifts in how we see the world, how we see ourselves and how we see our ability to contribute to something that's bigger than ourselves. I've been speaking for 10 years, I travel the globe and, and what I know is that the leadership lessons from working in times of crisis and disaster are applicable to business. People in business are saying, how do I build greater leadership in my organisation? How do I give the, the decision-making power to those who are leading teams? How do I motivate my teams? It might be that they'll say, we're undergoing a change program, people are unsettled, or we've had a really good year, and there's been a, a merger and an acquisition. We're bringing new people together, and they say, we need, to, we need to bond them, we need to bring them together as one team. Can you share some stories? And I say, well, I can because in Thailand we had 36 different countries that turned up and there was no structure and this is what we did that brought the teams together. There was one reoccurring theme and that is hope is not a plan because in my experience true leaders are identified by their actions and their reactions. It's what people do, not the positions that they hold that really makes a difference. There was 36 countries that were represented 450 forensic staff from around the world, but the Australians held the key leadership positions. What was that about? When there's an opportunity, so often it's the first to move that will hold that position of leadership. We don't have to have all of the answers when we start. Sometimes you don't even know what the questions are going to be. But by starting, by taking action, you get that clarity.